Yo! This is sick! Oh my goodness, this is so sick! Dude! a wire brush in here. I think that's used to clean a grinder. Coffee grinder. And I can't, it will not come out. I just want to make a coffee. Yes. Yes. Hi, okay, so this room specifically, this is the showroom of the studio. It's got the worst echo right now, the worst reverb. I feel like a broken record saying that in every video. I apologize. This is getting dealt with soon, but I want to do a little bit of a story time, a little bit of a little bit of a heart to heart, but I need we need one thing. Hang on. It, it'll take up some of the, I don't know, some of the reverb. Maybe we'll just if I just sit here awkwardly on the blanket, it'll not sound as bad. Blanket is down, and we should start by going back to about three days ago when I got this delivery. It's not a skid, but it's so light I'll just hand it down to you. Uh, UPS just came, Jared Poland, Fro Nose Photo. Fronosephoto.com uh, just sent me, doesn't seem too heavy, but it's like straight up screwed into a wood frame, so. Kirk brought his Ikea drill, nice. You know, it'd be funny if we just open this up and there's just a big drawing that said LOL. <laughs> Maybe it's a giant like Nikon poster. So we unscrewed all the screws around this wooden frame to unveil this. I think it's upside down. Yo! This is sick! Oh my goodness, this is so sick. Dude. Love a good, thoughtful, thoughtful gift. Jared, love you, man. Thanks so much. What's going on, everybody? Jared Poland from fronosphoto.com. And I wanna tell you how this photo of Peter came about. Growing up as a magician, the goal was almost always to have your own show. And if you didn't have your own show, you did corporate parties, you did birthday parties, you did private events, cocktail hours, weddings, all of those things. Now, if you were lucky enough to get on the stage and have an actual stage show and have some stage presence, the goal was one thing, it was singular, and it was always to get the standing ovation. Now we were both at this event and Peter was giving the keynote speech. So before he went on, roughly 10 minutes before, I wanted to show my support by sitting in the front row. And then I saw a bunch of photographers just milling around, waiting for Peter to come on. And the thought went through my head, I hope somebody gets some good photos for Peter. Nothing else mattered. It was, it was, the benchmark. If you got the standing O, you did something right. That's all that mattered. It's the same thing like if you get a million views, it almost doesn't matter how good your filmmaking is or whatever, the views are equated to success on YouTube, just like the standing ovation is equated to success in performance. It's not the case, but that was the goal. I never got it. And then I was like, well, why am I just sitting here? I could be that guy that gets those photos. So I ran up to my hotel room, grabbed my camera bag, and went down and waited for Peter to start. I performed magic for 10 plus years. It was a huge part of my life, still is, but I never got it. October 2019, I'm speaking as the keynote at Vid Summit. 
And when he started, I got into shooting mode. I was focused on getting Peter these images. I did a great talk and put everything I had into it, like I do for all my talks. For whatever reason, it was flowing that night and I could feel the energy from the crowd. I had the energy myself and at the very end, expecting nothing because I've never had a standing ovation before. I was prepared with a 14 to 24 2.8, walked up on stage, made that decision. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go. I said my last line, I said thank you and everyone stood up and started clapping. It's happening. I finally got the standing ovation when I wasn't actually looking for it. That's when it happened. Got the picture of Peter composed, focused, shot it. Two seconds later, I'm off the stage. Fast forward to having this studio and the bay door opens and a FedEx dude rolls in and I unscrew this massive crate to pull out an exact frame of that moment, that very moment that I have strived for my whole life as a performance artist. I wasn't in Frono's photo mode. I was in, I'm a photographer, I'm focused on getting the best images possible. Captured and then blown up 40 by 60 on a steel print. That's something that means more to me than just about everything I own or anything in this studio, that is something that I can't ever replicate, I can't ever get back, but Jared was able to see that, recognize that, and gift it to me. That is the gift of photography. photography. I'm big into giving the gift of photography. I have a whole shelf behind me of photo books that are from shoots where I gave the client or my friends or somebody the gift of this photo book because quality images live on. When you give somebody a print, the, even the files, or a photo book, or a big ass metal print like I gave Peter, these things live on. They make you look good, but they also give the person in the images a sense of, wow, they captured a moment in time, and that's going to live on forever. We all have this ability. We all have this skill set inside where we're able to take incredible photos, print them, and gift them someone's kids, a wedding, an event, a pet, a moment in time, a standing ovation. And that's how and, and why I went up on stage, took the photo, and then got off the stage because I knew that an image like this could mean so much to Peter. And of the images that I showed him, this was one of his favorites. And that's why I decided to make it a big ass metal print and gift it to him for his new studio. These things are within our capabilities and I think we should be giving the gift of photography way more often. I think one of the things I also like most about this print is that you can't see my face. So it's not like I walk into my studio and I'm like, oh, there I am. Hey, Pete. So it's kind of a, kind of a nice touch. I figured we could end this off in the hammock because I might just chill out here for a little bit, get on a few calls. Because <laughs> I mean, why not, right? I, I put it here. My challenge to you is to find one person between now and next month, this time next month, to give the gift of photography to. It could be a postcard, it could be a small four by six, it could be something that you just, you just printed off cheap, you framed it up at Walmart, doesn't matter at all. It's the act. It's the act that matters in giving the gift because we all have that within us. Not to mention just the whole side of printing photography like we talked about, but it really makes an impact in someone's life. And we can do that on a daily basis, be it that it's files, a wallpaper for the background, anything, just something thoughtful. That's my challenge to you because it feels just as good to do it as it does to receive it. That's it. Now I got to figure out how to get out of here without.
Aren't these things supposed to dry as well? 